وَالَّذِينَ And those who whom they عَنِ اللَّهْوِ From ill speech مُعْرِضُونَ Ones who turn away. Another very important characteristic. Very important quality. And what is it? That the true believers, those who will be successful are who? Those who turn away, those who avoid Allah. What is Allah? Allah is every word and every action. It could be a word, it could be an action. That is useless in and of itself. It is idle, it is nonsensical, it is meaningless. Useless, nonsensical, meaningless. It does not produce any benefit. And it is such that it is not conducive to achieving one's goal or purpose in life. Meaning it is not something that will help a person achieve some goal of his in this dunya. Nor will it bring any benefit to a person in the hereafter. So what is love? It is something that is vain, that is idle, that is useless. And it does not benefit a person in achieving his goal in the dunya, nor does it bring any benefit to a person in the hereafter. So love is that which is useless, purposeless, a waste of time. It eats away our lives. It brings no khair for us, neither in the dunya nor in the akhirah. Now the word love has been used in a number of ways. This is a primary meaning. It has been used in a number of ways. First of all, love has been used for a thoughtless utterance. Something that a person says without even thinking. Something that a person says without even thinking. For example, we have learned earlier that لا يؤاخذكم الله باللغو في أيمانكم That Allah will not seize you, will not hold you accountable concerning the love in your oaths. And what is that? That a person in every single statement he says, Wallahi, Wallahi. Bala Wallahi, La Wallahi. So this is what? A thoughtless utterance. Similarly, people have certain words that they say very often in their day-to-day speech. And those words don't have any relevance. They don't even give any meaning in the context. They don't even give any emphasis. For instance, some people have this habit of saying like, like, like in almost every statement. This is what? A love statement. It's a love word. Does it bring any benefit? Does it give any emphasis? Does it? Does it please other people? It annoys them for sure. Right? So, this is what love is. Secondly, love also includes fuhsh. Meaning love is also used for such speech that is indecent. That is indecent. Because if a person is talking about indecent stuff, does it bring him any benefit in dunya? No. Will it bring him benefit in the akhirah? Not at all. Rather, it will be the other way around. It will bring a person harm. So love also includes fuhsh, indecent talk, indecent actions, indecent words. This includes swear words. This includes watching haram, listening to haram. This is what love includes. Thirdly, love is also used for talking frivolously, talking continuously, very noisily, so that the speech of the other is drowned. So for example, when a person has extremely loud music on, so that even when other people are trying to talk, they cannot hear one another, they literally have to yell at one another, that sound is what? What is it? Love. No matter how beautiful it may be, no matter how much people are dancing at its tune, what is it? It is love. So, love is used in a number of ways. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say over here? That the believers are those who turn away. They're mu'ridun. They're ones who turn away. They avoid, they keep away from love. Ibn al-Jawzi, he said that love includes shirk. So, any kind of shirk, they stay away from it. It includes ma'asi, sins. Because a sin is for hush. A sin brings a person no benefit neither in dunya nor in the akhirah. It includes kathib. What does that mean? Lies, false statements, adha, words that would hurt others, shatam, swear words, cursing. And as zujaj he said that love includes kullu la'ib wa lahv. Every la'ib and every lahv. 
and you are familiar with these words. Larib is play, lahu is amusement. So it includes every larib and lahu. So the true believers, they stay away from it. In Surah Al-Hajj, at the end, what did we learn? وَجَاهِدُوا فِي اللَّهِ حَقَّ جِهَادِهِ Now as believers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has imposed a very important task upon us. Isn't it so? And when a person is given an extremely difficult work to do, or an extremely important task to do, then he needs to fully focus on it. Isn't it so? Like for example, if a person is trying to become a doctor, can he just miss classes the way we do? Can he? Can he just skip a day here, a day there, not show up for class, miss one practical, miss one presentation, miss one professor's lecture? Can he do that? Can he? No, he cannot. Why? Because if he misses one thing here or there, will he be able to become a doctor? Can he just say, oh, forget about this book, I won't purchase it. Like we do sometimes with the course. This book is not that important, I'm not going to buy it. I'll just share it with somebody else. Can a doctor do that? Can a medical student do that? Can he just say, forget it, I won't go for this week, I'm busy, I'm going on vacation? No, he cannot do that. So when a person has a very important task to do, he has to fully focus on it. Fully, completely. He will avoid social gatherings. He will avoid going to the mall. He will avoid watching television even. He will avoid sitting with people just talking. He will avoid many, many things. Why? Because what he's doing is extremely important and it demands a lot of work from him. And if he gets busy in other things, he will not be able to do his work. He will not be able to study. And if he does not study, if he does not do well, he will not be able to become a doctor. So for us, in order to give the haqq of striving in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we need to become extremely focused and extremely serious about it. Because only when a person is focused on his objective, then he can accomplish it. And only then his heart will not be occupied with other things. Remember that. When you're focused on your work, then your heart will not be occupied with other things. You will not think about them. You will completely forget about them. Because you're so busy, you're so into it. Like for example, sometimes it happens with people that they're talking to somebody. They're talking, 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 all of a sudden they look at the time, it's been an hour and a half and they didn't even realize. Isn't it so? Why? Because they were so busy in that conversation. Similarly, a person goes to the mall. He goes to one store, the other store, he has to buy one thing after the other. And all of a sudden when he looks at the time, it's been two hours. He didn't even realize it had been two hours. Why? Because he was so busy into it. Did he think about other things at that time? No. So when you are focused on something, then you don't think about other things. And this is something that is required of us. This is something that is required of us. That if we want to have khushur in salah, if we want to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked us to do, then we must we must leave useless things. Because if we don't leave them, we cannot do our work. We cannot accomplish our tasks. We cannot accomplish our goals. We learn in Surah Al-Furqan, ayah number 72, that وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَشْهَدُونَ الزُّورَ وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِاللَّغْوِ مَرُّوا كِرَامًا and the Ibadul Rahman, they are those who do not testify to falsehood. And when they pass by ill speech, they pass by with dignity. Meaning if they're going by somewhere and somebody is saying love words, somebody is talking about nonsense things, or somebody is watching something that is completely nonsensical, that is not relevant to them at all, what do they do? Marru kirama. They just pass away from there with dignity. They don't stay over there thinking, okay. What is coming on the television? What is this person talking about? Okay, what are they listening to? Let me concentrate. Let me see. There might be some good. Maybe I will learn something. No. They know that it's love and they stay away from it. So we see that avoiding love is extremely important. Because if a person does not avoid love, he cannot achieve his purpose. 
We learn in Surah Al-Qasas, ayah number 55, وَإِذَا سَمِعُوا اللَّغْوَ أَعْرَضُوا عَنْهُ And when they hear ill speech, they turn away from it. When they hear ill speech, they turn away from it. They don't dance to its tune. They don't take any interest in what's being said, what's being discussed, so that they can also pitch in that conversation. No. They just turn away from it. Who can do this? Who can turn away from love? Who can do that? A person who realizes that his life is precious. That his life is valuable. A person who knows the value of his life, he knows how to use his life. He knows how to use his time. He will not waste an hour here, two hours there, three hours watching a movie, two hours just walking around the mall, just window shopping, one hour just talking to a friend, chatting about things that just happened today. We're just touch basing. No, a person who realizes the value of his life, he will not waste it on these useless things. Many times we confuse the concept of relaxing, the concept of taking a break, with what? Indulging in love. We confuse between these two things. Relaxing, taking a break is extremely necessary. Because if you do not relax, if you do not take a break, you will not be able to work for too long. Isn't it so? You need a break. However, taking a break does not mean killing those two hours. Taking a break does not mean wasting a chunk of your life. Taking a break means doing something different that is easier on your mind, easier on your body, that will make you happy. Like for example, you go for a walk. That's what taking a break means. You go for a walk, you look at the lovely trees, you look at the lovely flowers, you say, subhanAllah, you do dhikr. You're not reading a book, your eyes are not straining, you're not staring at the screen, your eyes are not getting strained. This is what it means by taking a break. Whereas if you go watch the TV for two hours, tell me, are your eyes going to hurt more? Definitely. Is your head going to hurt more? Definitely. With all the noise, your head is going to hurt more. Whereas if you go outside, take a walk, that is definitely much more beneficial for you. So we need to understand the difference between love and relaxation. Love is something that wastes your life. Wastes your life. It does not bring you any worldly benefit. It does not bring you any religious benefit. This is the criteria for love. No worldly benefit, no religious benefit. If you think about it, you know, sometimes we say that, but I have to watch this comedy show because otherwise I cannot mentally relax. Think about it. How did the Sahaba survive without watching comedy shows? Did they have such sessions in which they would just watch comedy shows or have people cracking jokes one after the other so that they could laugh for hours? No. The Prophet ﷺ discouraged us from laughing excessively. So if they could survive, can we not survive? Of course we can. And if they avoided it, that is why they were able to achieve so much. Because we do not avoid love, this is why we cannot have khushur in salah. This is why we cannot do our work properly. This is why we cannot focus on our work. This is why we get distracted so easily. So we need to expel love from our lives. It's amazing that such shows, for example, if a person watches a comedy show or a person watches some kind of a show, even if it's supposed to be related to medicine, it's all about a doctor. There are so many things that are against the deen. There are so many things that are said against God. The respect that God deserves. The respect that religion deserves. There is no ta'aleem at all. There is disrespect. There is insult. Constantly, there are derogatory comments concerning the religion. And not just that, but there's so much fuhash. There's so much indecency. Now, how is it possible that we read in the Qur'an that when people say that Allah has a son, تَكَادُ السَّمَاوَاتُ يَتَفَطَّرْنَ That the heavens would split us under, the earth would split us under. And we listen to those things and we have a good laugh. We tell ourselves, oh, we shouldn't be laughing, but we have a good laugh. Those same words, they come into our speech. The same way of thinking becomes a part of our lives. And sin does not seem like a big deal to us anymore. So many times, love, it includes fuhish. Remember that. 
This is why وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّغْوِ مُعْرِضُونَ They have no interest in it. They don't like it. They cannot bear it. They cannot tolerate it. Even if it comes before them, even if somebody gives them the opportunity to listen to what to something like that, they say, no, I'm not interested. I'd rather do something else. If you have to watch something, watch something that will bring you benefit. That is not love. That is not a waste of your life. That is not killing your time. You could watch a documentary on food. You could watch a documentary on some animals, on geography, on discoveries. There's so many things out there. Watch something that will be beneficial. Not something that will eat away your time, that will kill your time, that will take a big chunk of your life away from you, that we will regret over on the Day of Judgment. We learn, the Prophet ﷺ said, مِنْ حُسْنِ الْإِسْلَامِ الْمَرْئِ تَرْكُهُ مَا لَا يَعْنِيهِ That out of a person being a good Muslim is his leaving what does not concern him. That we must leave all those things that do not concern us. We must leave all those things that do not concern us. That do not bring us benefit, neither in this dunya nor in the akhirah. And sometimes you see that in our conversations, there's so much love, so much love, that we're just talking, talking about what what I saw, what the other person said. The Prophet ﷺ said that, إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ كَرِهَ لَكُمْ قِيلْ وَقَالْ Allah dislikes for you قِيلْ and قَالْ This was said and that was said. He said this and she said that and that was said. This is disliked. This should not be a part of our conversations. If we do have to talk to one another, we should talk about things that are beneficial, that will benefit one another. Why do we have to talk about other people? Why do we have to keep commenting on children? Why do we have to keep commenting on the way that a particular person had dressed up? On the way that a person had cooked a particular food? Can we not get above that? Can we not have a higher purpose in our lives? Is that all we see? Is that all we see? And is that all that we can talk about? Remember that a person who has a higher goal in his life, he doesn't have time for useless things. He doesn't have time for useless conversations. He does not like such conversations. He will not find any interest in them. So, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّغْوِ مُعْرِضُونَ Now give me some examples of love. Going on Facebook and just looking at other people's pictures. Tell me, what do those pictures have to do with you? Are they pictures of your husband? Are they pictures of your children? Are there pictures of your sister's wedding that you missed? So you must see them? Are they of any relevance to you? Not at all. Are they of pictures of nature, something that Allah created, of beautiful mountains and beautiful trees, so that when you see them, you are happy to see them, and you praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you increase in your hasanat. Are they? No. What are those pictures about? Weird things that people have written on pieces of paper, and they have taken a picture of that. Weird things that people are doing, weird poses that they have made, weird clothes that they're wearing, and this is what they're displaying in front of the whole world. That's the time that we have, that we can go on each and every single person's album and we can see one picture after the other. Really? That's the time that you have? If you have that much time, come to me. We'll give you lots of work. There's so much work to be done. And there you are sitting, clicking on one picture after the other. There's so much work to be done. How can you sit idle and waste your time like that? This is not fair. This is not right. Neither to yourself nor with other people. Go help your mother in the kitchen instead who's standing there since morning, washing one thing after the other, cooking one thing after the other, fulfilling your desires. This is not fair. What else is included in love? Window shopping. Window shopping. Let me just go and see what's new. Maybe I'll find something that I can buy. I don't have money for it, but I'll just go see I don't intend to buy, but I'll just go see. Let me see what's in. Oh, that's so beautiful. That looks so nice. I wish I could have that. Somebody was actually telling me that the social media, like Facebook and Twitter, when people see the kind of pictures that other people have put up or the kind of things that people are saying, like, I'm so happy, I went to the mall, I bought this, I went to that store, I went in this mall, I went here, I went there, it actually causes depression in people's lives it actually makes other people depressed. Because they think that their lives are so miserable and everybody else is so happy. What else is included in love? 
discussing lives of celebrities or people who have nothing to do with you. They're not your uncles. They're not your relatives. They're not your aunts. They're not your in-laws. Nothing. They're not related to you. They're not professors. They're not researchers. They're not scientists. It's not that they are teaching something beneficial to people. Discussing their lives, discussing their affairs, discussing their dresses, discussing their words, discussing their new hairstyles. This is love. And not just discussing, but spending hours watching. That, oh, this person bought this lovely dress for their wedding. And this is how much time they spent in choosing the perfect dress. Are you going to go to that wedding? Are they going to give that dress to you? Are you going to sell it and make profit from it? No. It doesn't bring you any worldly benefit. It doesn't bring you any religious benefit. And when you watch other people, what will you be thinking? I can't afford that dress. Even if I want to wear it, my parents will never let me wear a white gown on my wedding. Because unfortunately, we're so traditional. It will make you unhappy. It will make you depressed. You will compare your skin with theirs. You will compare your figure with theirs. And you'll become depressed. No benefit, only loss. No happiness, only misery. What else is included? Talking about politics. Very true. You're not a member. Nobody is representing your community anyway. You don't vote. You discourage other people to vote. And there you are discussing politics. As if you can really make a huge difference. You don't even have much knowledge about it. But just discussing. What else is included in love? Taking too long to cook something. Taking too long to dress up. Taking too long to fix things in the house. This is what? A waste of time. This is killing your time, wasting your life. What else is included? Going to or being interested in contests, in uh, beauty contests. Commenting on the new designs or commenting on what people are wearing. What else is included in love? Very true. I agree with it a hundred percent. Watching games, matches and discussing them and watching their reviews and watching their where they have panel discussions over them honestly what relevance does it have in your life okay if you're reading about it perhaps you will improve in your you know your english perhaps you will improve in your writing style if you read about it if you do but if you're just sitting and watching for four hours for three hours if they win you're not going to get a single penny you know that You're not going to get a single penny if they win. If they win, they're going to make money. You're not going to make a cent. So it's a total waste of life. And if you are really interested, you can always check the scores. You can get the updates on your phone even. It's not difficult. Is your life really that cheap? Is your life really that cheap that you can just give four hours like that? Watching, looking at the cheerleaders, the way they're dressed or the way they're cheering other people or watching other people playing and the way they're moving and analyzing their movements and their throws and their kicks and their run, it doesn't have any relevance. No relevance, no worldly benefit, no religious benefit. If you're involved in it, if that is the source of your income, okay, it may have some relevance to you. But other people, no relevance. I wish we could spend that much time in improving our recitation, in improving our knowledge of the deen. I remember recently somebody was telling me, about they were supposed to go somewhere but they said that no this person is going to be studying this person has to study and it was a weekend and I was amazed that on the weekend even this person studies this is why they're excelling this is why they're moving ahead while people of the same age people of the same ability people who have the same time are not accomplishing even a third of what they're accomplishing each person has been given the same amount of time Each and every person. It's up to us how we use it. It's up to us how we value our lives. What we invest our time in. Typically Muslims don't do that. I'm talking about things that happen in our houses and our lives. So that we can see them and we can avoid them. What else is included in love? For example, what is that called? Surfing the net. Surfing the net. As if you're surfing on the sea. Clicking on one thing after the other and ending up from reading about some war in history to the celebrity that's very popular today. Clicking on one thing after the other. If you ask people, let's go to the park, let's go to that beautiful 
place where there's a beautiful fall or there are beautiful mountains or a beautiful lake. They don't have time for it. But they have the time to watch something four hours on television. They have the time to chat with somebody for two hours. What else is included in love? Sleeping too much. That is also a waste of life. It doesn't bring worldly benefit. It doesn't bring religious benefit. But remember that sleep deprivation on the other hand is also not that good. But if a person sleeps excessively, then what happens? It has a negative effect on one's body. You will notice that if you sleep excessively, you wake up, your head is hurting. Isn't it so? Your eyes are swollen and you cannot do anything. It takes you so long to get out of that sleepy state. So, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّغْوِ مُعْدِضُونَ Why? What's the reason? Because they have a higher goal in life. When a person has a goal to achieve, then all of these useless things, he will get rid of them. They will not be a part of his life anymore. Backbiting. That is also love. Because it's only adding to a person's sins. It's consuming his good deeds away. So, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّغْوِ مُعْرِضُونَ When can that be? When a person has a focus in life. Let's listen to the recitation of these verses. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون 